Hello, I'm Recoded Zaphod, and welcome to episode 20 on the Century Craft 2 server. Um, I think the first thing I need to be doing today is removing this pumpkin from my head because, uh, yeah, it's no longer the spooky season. So, um, yeah, I think I need to find a way to get this off. And I'm going to try uh, seeing if I can just wash it off. So if I uh, get in this water and uh, move around a bit, let's see if I can get it to... Oh, okay. I'm I'm free. Pumpkin's off my head. Oh, and I'm starting to drown. <laughs> okay. And where did it go? I could have sworn I just saw it drift up. Ah, it's over there. Oh. There we go. I am now uh, pumpkinless. Or well, at least my head is. I've, I've got plenty of these pumpkins still. Um, so, yeah, that's the first job done for today. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think the next is my plan for today is going to be building a very large jungle tree, um, which I want to do out the back here somewhere. Um, there's quite a few sort of low trees around here, so I think I might get rid of these and try to build up one massive tree here. And uh, my plan is to have on the inside of it um, some bubble vators um, and then like a, a drop shoot so that if I end up having to walk back to my base, um, I can get up it without... Uh, oh, um, I'm not wearing armor. Um, I'll just do. There we go. Um, I can get up it without having to fly. My plan is to... Oh, there's a sheep in here. Okay. <laughs> plan is to get rid of all of the stuff down here, which isn't the big trees. Um, and then I can build a giant tree. And I think that's going to work best as a time lapse. So I've now cleared out a reasonable area here um, and I think it's probably a good idea to show you roughly uh, what I've got planned for this area. Um, I might end up having to take out a few more bushes but uh, I quite like the sort of undergrowth everywhere so I'm probably going to have to light up this area as well if I want to use it as a way to get up there without having to fly because um, I don't want to have to fight off a whole load of mobs every time so uh, maybe putting in a path out this way um, to join up with uh, that path over there. I think that might be a good idea. All right, and this is a tree. Um, <laughs> I, I'm kidding, this isn't the actual tree I want to put in there, but this is another tree I was uh, designing. And I think I might put sort of along the path to the um, cat shop because that needs some sort of bushes or something around there. So I think a little sort of chunky jungle tree will do. But um, yeah, for the actual thing, uh, I'm going to try and build something like this. So this was designed in a creative world. Um, and then I can have, uh, you know, these sort of bridge rope laddery sort of thing um, attaching to it. And uh, yeah, have a little ways uh, in and then drop down into um, a water column. Um, I haven't finished the inside of this, but uh, it gives enough that you can see the idea. I'll have uh, two slots. So I've got one that side and one that side. And uh, one will be up, one will be down. And then I'll be able to go up and down without having to have an elytra. Um, I was initially thinking of trying to 
build one big enough to actually like put a storage system inside it and stuff but I realized it would have to be about this size and then the height of it like even this height would make it look a bit sort of short in comparison to the width so it end up sort of a tree trunk rather than like the entire tree so I think I've decided I'm not gonna put um, a sorting system inside a tree um, I'm gonna have to build something and connect it to the tree systems um, for this. Uh, I've got a few ideas, but uh, you'll have to wait and see for those. But yeah, this is my idea for the tree. Uh, I think I want to keep the higher branches um, thicker um, than I have on this one, but you should be able to get a rough impression of what the plan is. And then on the bottom, I've got all of these uh, roots. Um, well, sort of roots, sort of branches, sort of stretching out and going down. Um, sort of inspired by, uh, is it Avatar, where they have the huge tree and all the bits coming off of the bottom of it. But I think it's quite cool. You can sort of walk uh, amongst the roots to get to uh, your bubble columns and get up and down. So, yeah, that's my plan. So now I've just got to build something like this in the space I've just cleared on the server. But first... I need some resources, so I need some leaves and some vines and some jungle wood. And uh, I've decided to temporarily plant some around here because then I get haste. And although you don't instamine uh, wood with haste, uh, it does still speed it up somewhat. And um, I know Intent has a tree farm, but I do want the vines and the leaves as well as the um, actual um, wood. So yeah, I'm going to do this manually. Um, and I'm going to grab some of this and turn it into bone meal so I can get these grown. And then I can fly up the top, um, get all the leaves, uh, try and get as many of the vines from down here as possible. Um, I think if I just collect some from the bottom from now, for now, because once I actually put them on the thing, they'll spread a bit. So I shouldn't need too many, and I've, I've got a bit already. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get these vines, go up the top. Um, get leaves. I am going to need some more shears. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna um, grab some iron from the iron factory and then come back um, so I can make shears as much as I need and get the leaves and the wood and all the good stuff. I just thought that while I'm uh, chopping down these trees, I might actually uh, set up a little vine farm so they can be growing um, while I'm doing that and then I can come back and harvest some more vines because uh, we don't have one of those so if I put one here just by the rest of the community farms and then yeah anyone who uh, needs vines can uh, come along and um, use this. Okay so I think the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building up the little trees along this path because this path at the moment although the actual path bit's all right the bit around it is very flat and dull because it doesn't even have any grass or anything on it right now um, so yeah I'm gonna be putting some trees along the side, um, probably extend them around uh, here a bit. Um, oh, I need to sort out what ever, ever went on here. I think probably a couple of creeper explosions and um, I think I trapped a zombie villager in there as well at one point. So yeah, uh, I'm going to sort this stuff out. But I think it's probably best to do it as a time lapse. Oh, I think I also want to sort this out. I might, I might make this into... Um, another little, little sort of pond. Um, I might even try to connect it sort of underneath to uh, the main lake over there. So it looks like it's got some water sort of running underneath the path here. Although given this is dirt rather than wood, I'm not sure that'd make that much sense. Yeah, I think I'll leave it, but I will make this into a, a, another pond. So uh, yeah, I guess it's gonna be time for a time-lapse again. <laughs>
going to have a quick wander through. You can see all of the little trees and uh, I cleared the main path a bit but you've got all the grass and flowers around it. So uh, yeah and I guess from here it's straight on to the time lapse of building the big tree. So I'm going to do a bit of voiceover for this time lapse because this is a reasonably long time lapse and you already had um, a couple of little time lapses this episode um, and yeah I didn't want you to get bored of just listening to save old music and uh, watching this tree shoot up. Um, it's quite enjoyable to make this because I, I haven't really done much with organic shapes so trying to get it all to work. Obviously I had what I tried out in creative to base it on but uh yeah, trying, trying to look at it and be like, oh, it's, is this bit too square? Do I need to remove a block here or or there and get it to look more like a, yeah, or organic plant branch was actually quite a fun challenge. And I, I think I did okay, if I do say, some, say so myself. But um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, because, like I said, it's, it's not something I've done much of doing sort of big organic shapes. Um, I think certainly the larger you go in Minecraft, the easier it is to do these sort of organic shapes and get um, a good looking result at the end of it because you can get more curves if you've got more pixels, right? Um, whereas on a small scale it becomes very difficult. So at the ends of the branches I feel it gets sort of quite square um, because they've ended up thinner and just a single block in lots of cases but I think once I um, put the leaves on uh, which you will see in a bit um, it helps uh, bind it all together because you don't end up with the sharp ends you just end up with a sort of uh, general shape over the whole branch and uh, yeah also like this uh, I am quite enjoying the shapes that I've got going on it is very much just a shape at the moment because there's no sort of texture to it um, so yeah I went through with some vines and a whole bunch of leaves and um, yeah all the way from bottom to the top um, I tried as much as possible to get vines on the undersides of blocks because you can place them on the underside or the side just not on the top um, and I figured if I got them on the underside that means looking up at it, you would get a bit of texture as well, rather than just seeing all the branches from beneath, and uh, then only seeing all the greenery uh, when you're looking down on any particular branch. So uh, yeah, so here we are, uh, most way up the tree, and certainly I think uh, once it's been given a while for the vines to start growing and dangling off the edges, um, I did very much try to uh, put vines on the outermost points of uh, the leaf bushes at the ends of the branches so that when they hung down they hung out at the sort of extremities um, of the branches as well as along them um, and once once they're hanging down I think it definitely improves the sort of the overall uh, feeling of the thing so yeah I I'd love to hear your thoughts on on this tree so to get a proper look at this they're flying on in and i've got the the fog on um quite thick um which i, I quite like around the sort of um i was about to say rainforest yeah rainforest area um yeah it, it sort of it looks good being quite misty and yeah i quite like this you have to fly through all the vines there so uh yeah, try and get as many uh, good vantage points as possible. I think it's not it's not too big, so it doesn't um, dwarf the rest of the environment. Um, but it's big enough to you know be a landmark, because even these ones like on a hill they're still smaller than this. So uh, yeah, I I quite like that. Um, I haven't put in. Uh, in the creative world I had the sort of bridge leading off of it I haven't put that in yet um, 
but I think I might do that once I worked out exactly what it is I'm connecting it to. Um, which, like I think I said, I, I do have some ideas, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to reveal them until I'm I'm certain about what I'm doing. So uh, yeah. I, th I think that fits in quite well. I'm quite pleased with that. And then if I come down this way, and then, ow, <laughs> completely missed that. I've had to fly along here. But, um, yeah, and I've got this area as well, which uh, I'm quite happy with. And I think might be worth having a look to see what uh, this all looks like with um, some shaders on. So I'm just going to turn those on. And there we go, <laughs> with the sun setting behind it all as well. Okay, so, yeah, I, I think it definitely looks better with a sort of overgrown area on that side of the path. If you compare it to, you know, this side of the path where it's all fairly bland, yeah, I think I definitely need to keep this sort of style going this way. Um, probably not so many of the trees because they're sort of working into the sort of jungle and the, um, like, uh, edge of the, the lake. So maybe one or two round here um, still. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's a project for later on. Um, I can carry on doing it maybe off camera to like just do a tree uh, when I have a chance. Um, and then if I fly up to the big tree, if I can take off, there we go. Right, and yeah, looks okay with shaders. And there's definitely a creeper on there. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Yes, I, I definitely need to watch out for mobs, which uh, might tie in quite well to the theme of my next episode. So uh, tune in for that. But before I go, um, I just want to say, you might have noticed there's a lot of uh, tree focus in this episode. And uh, it's something that in the real world, we could probably do with a few more trees. So uh, I thought I'd uh, use a tree episode to promote uh, team trees. So I'd I assume you've probably heard of it by now. If not, it's um, an incentive by Mr. Beast and um, some other people, and a whole load of YouTubers have like got involved trying to promote it. And they're trying to trying to plant 20 million trees by 2020. Um, so, if you either hadn't heard of it or uh, need reminding to go do it, if you're planning to do it, because uh, that's the situation I was in. I was like, oh yeah, that that seems like a a good thing. Um, support the planet, plant some trees, uh, help mitigate climate change and show people that we do actually care about it. Um, but I, I didn't get around to it for a while. So uh, yeah, if you just need a reminder that that's a thing and you are planning to donate, yeah, uh, go check it out and get a, a tree or two planted for you. But uh, I think that's going to be all from me for this episode. As always, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. I've been Recoded Zaphod, and thanks for watching!